My name is Chelsea Lindsay, and my honors thesis project is Jetstream, an analysis of the Z-Fill method for 2D to S3D animation conversion. It's a mouthful, right? Don't worry, I'll break it down. This video is a brief introduction to my thesis topic and the animation pipeline I developed over the past two years to create traditional animation for 3D presentation. For my thesis, I wanted to use the resources I had available to make an impact on the animation industry. As an animator, I've always loved hand-drawn animated films and wish there were more being made. One of the reasons traditionally animated films have left the box office is because these films are difficult to make in stereoscopic 3D, aka movies you watch with 3D glasses. I thought, if I could research ways to make hand-drawn 3D better and create my own 3D animation to prove it, perhaps it could be used by the industry at large. But before we get into animation, let's explain how 3D works. Stereoscopy is the process of taking two flat images that, when combined with a special viewing method, allow the viewer to see one image with depth. The final image is still flat, but the brain is tricked into perceiving depth where there isn't any. This process is based on how the brain perceives depth naturally. Each eye sees a slightly different perspective of the world that the brain combines to create a 3D picture in the mind. By replicating this process with stereoscopic imagery, 3D films can be created. It's relatively simple to create stereoscopic 3D with live-action films. Simply put two cameras where the eyes would be and capture the depth that's already there. It's the same with computer-generated animated films, only using virtual cameras on a virtual set within the animation software. But drawings are flat, which means there's no depth to record or capture. So how do we convert a flat drawing into a stereoscopic image? Over the last 50 years, a variety of techniques have been used for various short and feature films. Unfortunately, most of them are either lacking in realism or too expensive to produce on a regular basis. One of the most effective recent methods was used by Disney to create the short film Paperman in 2012. This film used hand drawings and CG animation layered on top of each other to create a new look for hand-drawn 3D films. When I saw this film, I knew I had to discover how it was made and model my film on its process. I learned that Paperman was created using Meander, a Disney-owned software that isn't available to the public. Undeterred, I decided to replicate as much of the Paperman process as I could with the tools I had available. This led to the Z-Fill method and my animation pipeline, which I'll explain now. The first step in any film production is story. I created a five-minute script, storyboard, and animatic for a short film called Jetstream, from which I chose five seconds to animate with the Z-Fill method. Sounds great. Just one question. This would be the inspiration for all that followed. Next, I had to design the characters in both hand-drawn and CG animation. The final design needed to be harmonious with both styles of animation, as the two would be layered on top of each other in the final film. After design, I started rough animation. These sketchy drawings provide the poses and timing for the next stages of animation, but are not seen in the final film. Next comes CG animation, where the poses of the rough animation are translated into the CG software Blender. I positioned each keyframe of the computer animation to match what was in the rough animation. Once this animation is complete, production moves to the traceover stage. Each frame of animation is drawn over in Photoshop to create that hand-drawn look. For my 5 seconds of animation, that's 54 drawings! Next is the stereoscopic conversion stage. First, I re-render my CG animation to produce grayscale images. These images use mathematical data to determine which objects are closest to the camera and which are farthest away. This process is computer automated, rather than being created by hand, which saves a lot of production time. After that, I combined the traceover images and the grayscale images for the conversion process. I developed a computer program called Shift, in conjunction with Elon University's Chair of Computing Sciences, to make this process automated. The software uses a mathematical formula to split a single traceover image into two stereoscopic images. After a little cleaning up, the images are ready for compositing. The traceover images and CG animation are layered on top of each other, one stack for the left eye and one stack for the right. The two stacks are combined for the final render, which makes the images viewable with 3D glasses. Once rendering is complete, the animation is ready for its first screening. Sounds great. Just one question. And that's it! Two years of work all boil down to those five seconds. The ZFill method offers a new way to create hand-drawn animation for the 21st century, all using software available to the everyday animator. If you'd like more information on my thesis, please check out links to my thesis film and paper in the description. Happy animating!